Welcome to CSS for Beginners. In these videos we're going to be covering the very basics of what CSS is. And we're going to start by actually explaining why we might use CSS or why we actually use CSS. So if you're watching these videos you've probably created in the past or you're probably about to create some HTML pages. And HTML pages are pages that we can access uh, on the World Wide Web. So HTML pages are all about content. So what we put on HTML pages is content, words, pictures, etc. And if you were building a website, you might have many of these HTML pages. And you might have two pages, you might have 200 pages. Now, if you had 200 pages uh, on a website and the HTML had all of your content and it also had all of your styles. And what I mean by that is imagine that all of your pages had lots and lots of writing and that lots and lots of writing had a particular style applied to it. For example, it had all blue text. So all blue text. And all of that blue text was font size 24 pixels. And it might have been bold. Um, on this page, you would have had all blue text. And again, you would have had a 24 pixels font size, and that font would have been bold. So if you keep your styles on the page within your HTML, each page has their own styles. Now imagine if you were building a website for a client and that client said, okay, I want 200 pages. So I want 200 HTML pages, HTML times by 200. And you've built all the HTML, which is the content. And you've done all of the styles in there as well on each of those 200 pages. What happens if your client comes to you and says, well, I love the website, it's fantastic, it's brilliant, um, but you've written everything in blue, and I want you to turn it all red. So the text is all in blue. Can you just change the color for me to red? Now, if you've built the styles in every single page, that means you've got to go and open 200 pages and change the text color from blue to red on all of those 200 pages. Now, that would be very time consuming. And imagine if you took it to him again and he said, oh, I didn't mean that red, I meant a different color. Again, you'd have to go all through all 200 pages and do it all again. So what we do is we use something called style sheets. And in particular, we use cascading style sheets. So cascading style sheets is basically CSS, cascading style sheets. And the way they work is, you might build lots and lots of pages in HTML. So you've got one page, you've got two pages, you've got three pages, you've got lots and lots of pages, and all of these pages have content on them. So content here, content there, content everywhere. And what you would do if you wanted to be uh, more efficient with your web design is you would then create a separate file where you would store all of your styles. And that file would be a .css file. And what you do is you simply attach these pages to the CSS file. So if I set up in my CSS file that all my fonts on all of those pages are blue and they're at font size 24 and they're all bold, that style is applied to all of these pages, as long as I embed the style sheet in those pages. Now, the beauty of that is if my client comes along and says, well, actually, mm, I don't actually want um, the pages to be blue, uh, sorry, the text to be blue. So you say, okay, what color do you want them? And he say, well, I want them red. So you change the style to red just on the style sheet. And because that style sheet is attached to all of the HTML pages, automatically all of these pages where you've used that style will change the text from blue to red. So that's the reason we actually use style sheets, so that we can distribute styles to many pages and we can manage our styles on one CSS 
page, Cascading Style Sheets.